Repotting is something that every gardener has to do. It's especially important for those choosing to grow indoors. We've got four seedlings that we're going to show you how to transfer with minimal trauma to the young plant. Our seedlings are all Harbinger tomatoes, an English heritage variety of the fruit. They're just becoming juvenile plants, so we're going to move them to three and a half litre pots to allow a full and healthy root structure to develop. The seeds were planted in a 70-30 mix. 70% Plagron light mix and 30% perlite. The Plagron already contains some perlite, but we've added the extra to ensure excellent aeration during germination and early growth. We're going to repot them into 100% Plagron light mix. Begin by half filling the larger pot and then create a centered space to receive the seedling. Now, with a cupped hand to avoid crushing the seedling, invert the pot and ease the plant and growing media into your hand and place immediately into the space you've created to receive it. You should now cover the plant to protect it. We're using a transparent cup and fill the area around it with soil until you've reached a height of three to five centimeters under the rim of the pot. Now, you need to get your plant under blue light. We're using a Euro reflector with a 400 watt Sunmaster metal halide bulb, rated at 7,200 Kelvin. You should now feed your plants. We're using an Azos solution to help give the roots of our tomatoes a head start Azos is a natural, nitrogen-fixing microbe that increases the plant's production of IAA and Dole 3 acetic acid, a naturally occurring plant hormone which beneficially affects cell division, growth rates and overall plant and root development. Be very careful not to get any liquid on the leaves. The intense lighting will magnify through the solution and may burn the leaves. This could be quite serious for such a young plant. Happy repotting. Please be sure to subscribe and check out our growing updates.